Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. This episode we explore a new look at gaming reviews with Retro Reviews. We will be taking a look back on games played by today's standards and seeing if they still hold up in today's gaming. The one thing I will overlook will be the graphics. I will be only ranking them to its era and generation. Without further ado, the first retro review will be on Jean d'Arc for the PlayStation Portable or PSP. Released in North America in 2007, Jean d'Arc was released by Sony and developed by Level 5. Level 5 have been superstars in the RPG arena with hits like Dragon Quest 8 VIII and 9, Rogue Galaxy for the PS2, and Nino Kuni Relevant Kingdom for the PS4. Having RPG experience, this was their first game in a strategy tactics arena. Luckily, there were fantastic games to look at like Ogre Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics, and the Shining Force series. Very loosely based on the real life of Joan of Arc, Jeanne d'Arc takes place as France struggles against English occupation during the Hundred Years' War in the 15th century. With added fantasy and mystical properties and a bit of history, Jeanne moves from town to town, city to city, in fighting the English who have made a deal to have demons on their side. But you must stop at once! I do this all for the good of young Prince Henry. Now he shall finally reign over this world as its true king for all eternity. <laughs> John's village is destroyed due to this and she wants revenge and is unrelenting on getting it while she hears the voice of God guiding her on her journey. The story beyond that point is full of character development with people who join you on your quest to the political real life of story of John's downfall and resurgence. The graphics and design are well done with the soundtrack matching each mood of each stage. The game has many stages that will push you to your limits with battles lasting up to one to two hours at a time, especially when you near the end of the game. Based on a 3D plane, movement and attacks are turn-based and on a grid. Magic and special arts are used throughout the game as you learn what works and what doesn't. You can even transform the main characters to super beings with godlike powers for a limited time. The story will keep you hooked as much as the battles do. You keep wanting to progress to see what happens next and the battle system is so addicting and satisfying you forget that it's a portable system. Playtime can last up to one to three hours based on the battles. You want to finish the battle and save before the power runs out or you'll be connected to an AC adapter the whole time while playing just like me. The game will last you 35 to 40 hours depending on how much you grind for the harder battles in the future. Level 5 made a good choice making this a simplistic strategy game with a great storyline for a portable system. Although the battles will take you 30 minutes to an hour, they are far less than the more complicated strategy games of the past.
a fantastic game to revisit where we can know your memories if you played this game before. A must if you never played the game. It is originally playable on a PSP and downloadable on the PlayStation Network. Any way you play, you'll be satisfied. Jean d'Arc receives a 9.0 out of 10 for its great story and battle system. Although simplistic, very addictive for everyone. That's it for me on this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Heaven above! Damn. Uh. Yeah.